it's pretty difficult to be on Instagram and not have come across the Claremont twins. Two identical reality television stars turned Instagram influencers. I've talked about them in my videos on Inform Overload before, mainly for the insane amount of editing they do to their photos on Instagram. But I started looking more and more into their past and why they are as famous as they are. And I gotta say, it is equal parts wild and shady. You are about to hear the wild and shady history of the Claremont twins right now on IO. What is good? You are watching Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte. On this channel, we bring you the most interesting viral topics on YouTube and throw in a dash of comedy and call it a day. <laughs> if you're new here, please subscribe so we get to hang out every day and follow the IO team on social media. We got Instagram and Twitter. And if you see any stories that you think would be great for IO, don't hesitate to reach out in our DMs. Story suggestions in our DMs, not anything else my ideas. I first came across the Claremont twins when I was researching my video, the top 10 influencers who look nothing like their photos in real life. And that is a whole other can of worms. But how did the Claremont twins become so famous? We have to travel back to 2015 to answer that question. Sinead and Shannon Claremont are from season 14 of the Bad Girls Club, a reality show about girls that think they are bad. And they all kind of like hang out together in one house. Definitely a recipe for disaster, but also great TV. The Claremont twins were famous for calling their fellow castmates peasants. So needless to say, things got physical. The Claremont twins were also featured in the Yeezy season 6 Kim Kardashian clone campaign, and they were featured in one of Future's music videos. Their Instagram account is followed by more than 1.4 million people, and they are a prime example of viral stars who owe their fame to social media. But Sinead Claremont's perfect life and rise to fame came tumbling down after she was accused and convicted of stealing the identity of a dead man. Sinead Claremont allegedly stole the debit information of a man called James Alessi after he passed out at his home. She tried to spend more than $20,000 of his money on clothes and plane tickets. Alessi ended up dying of an accidental overdose after taking cocaine laced with fentanyl. He was found dead in his Manhattan apartment on February 1st, 2017, one day after he met Sinead Claremont. According to a news release, the two had met for a prostitution date, allegedly meaning that Sinead Claremont was Alessi's sugar baby for the night. Text messages were found that show a conversation between Alessi and Sinead where she agreed to a $400 encounter. After Alessi became very drunk and passed out, Sinead took the information of not one but two of his debit cards and also used his identity to wire herself money. The family of James Alessi found out the details of what happened an entire two months after he died. His sister, whose identity has been kept private, said at the time, my brother died and she went shopping. His family also said in a statement at the time that Sinead was heartless. Sinead Claremont entered a plea of guilty to one count of wire fraud in November of 2018. The judge in the trial wasn't necessarily concerned that Sinead was Alessi's sugar baby. She was more concerned about the fact that Sinead stole money from a man who needed medical help. The judge basically said that instead of choosing to help a man who's passed out and ODing, she took his debit card. Her defense attorney, who was the same defense attorney that represented El Chapo in his drug trafficking case, said that Sinead Claremont wasn't aware that Alessi was in any kind of distress and would have acted differently if she knew. Her defense also argued that she had a pristine clean criminal record prior to these charges. The problem is, and likely the deciding factor in the trial was Sinead used Alessi's debit info in the following months after she left Alessi's apartment. She wasn't arrested until July of 2018, more than a year after Alessi died. Sinead was sentenced to 12 months in prison. And I guess uh, she did turn out to be a bad girl after all, didn't she? Since then, her story has been likened to the film Hustlers, the one about the strippers that steal money from rich men, the one with Cardi B. After she was released from prison, she said, I quote, he wasn't asleep when I left, he was just drunk. I've never been around people who've been on heavy drugs, so I really don't know. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> she also said that she didn't find out unless he died until later, but she agreed that the situation looked bad. Very bad. Sinead still defends her character as a business person with a strong work ethic, not some cold hearted gold digger obsessed with fame and fortune, arguing Alessi was a known sugar daddy. He's not an innocent person. What do you think about this? Let me know in those comments. For now, I'm going to respond to some of your past comments. DVK said, the host is so cute that I had to subscribe. Oh, that's nice. Oh wait, you weren't talking about me, you were talking about Johnny, right. Rachel Hayden said, Char is terrible, cringe, confused by the support. I'm confused as to why you are watching someone that you find cringy. Hmm? 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 Francine said, well, if you guys can't bring Charlotte, I'm not interested. You guys have such differing opinions. Some of you just freaking hate me. Other people love me. Like, there's no pleasing everybody. By the way, there's no way that I could make 28 videos a week by myself. I'm amazing, but not that amazing. 
that is it for me and thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. Stick around for some bonus content and I will see you in a future IO video. Yeah. Time flies. Time flies. Hey. And that is how a whole After Sinead was released from Quizzin. Released from Quizzin. I was released from Quizzin.